Hello world, let's do this. Okay, is today the day? Probably not. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a couple, about an hour and a half of sunlight left. And as I came out to film, the clouds are coming and it's like, okie dokie. So I don't have a lot of time, so I'm not expecting too much. But I'm gonna warm up. And it's like I thought, today's the day. Let's try it. Let's go for the kickflip. So, who knows? I'm not expecting anything out of it. I'm gonna warm up. And if I get there, I get there. If I don't, I don't. I'm expecting this to have a day two or day three. <laughs> but like I said, I'm just gonna skate around. I've got about, oh yeah, about an hour and a half of daylight at most. But the clouds over here aren't looking too good. So, yeah, I might not, yeah, because when it rains, this will get wet and then it's too iffy. Anyway, let's have a look. If you like what I'm doing, smash like, subscribe, to the for all that good stuff. But yeah, let's just have some fun skating. I thought, oh well, look what happened last time. I did a switch ollie and I got my first nollie done. <laughs> but yeah, let's see where we end up. I'm a little loose, a little bit warmed up, but I'm warm up a bit more while I'm skating. Can I do a switch without too much practice? Look at 
Got the alley going. Okay. So I don't know. This might be a full progression, but we'll see. Okay, so going up. Damn. in the last video the way we flipped before when it was the first thing where they tell you you come up and you ollie but then you flick out sideways so you kind of kick it down like that you try and flick it and as they say on braille that pushes the board down so they get used to coming up but out, out on an angle, out. Oh, ow, 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 shit. <laughs> oh. Right on the toes. No. Came out me. Saving this. Now I've been saving this, I haven't been trying it. The last two videos, which was the last session that I recorded, those few takes of a kickflip were all I've tried since they were the only kickflips I've tried since I was a kid. Because I've been saving, I've been really wanting since I got the skateboard. I wanted to film me, film myself doing a kickflip and the journey to it. Ooh. Just realized my bearings need a little bit of cleaning and spraying. But yeah, so I not, haven't been practicing this. So if by some miracle I do achieve it today, it's just my body readapting to skateboarding and the fact that I've learned a couple newer techniques, what they say to do today. So I've never been able to do a kickflip. I've never landed a kickflip ever before. So if I catch it on film, you will be the very first time I've ever, ever done a kickflip in my entire life. I just want to make that very, very clear.
skaters it was front foot and back foot inside joke for those of you from the group oh yeah always my front foot gets smashed up ah oh, it's stinging i know it didn't look like much on the camera Trying to get that flip with the new kick.
yeah, so I know a few people who don't skate, they're like, why are you always out of breath? And why are you sweaty and all that when you're just doing little ollies? Well, what you gotta remember is basically when I did the switch ollie, I was jumping for an hour or 45 minutes or so. And then, so that's the whole thing. When you're doing an ollie, it's like a box jump. So if you're doing a hundred tries at an ollie, you're jumping a hundred times. So I'm going to be jumping up in the air. I know it's not very high, but it's like every time you see me do an ollie, think of it like a box jump, a small step box jump. And this could take an hour and I'm jumping for an hour. So just take 10 minutes out of your day and get a step like this size and just jump up on it for 10 minutes. See how you feel. That's why I get out of breath. That's why I sweat because it's actually a little bit of work and it's great exercise. Because I know a few people have been uh, talking about that on a lot of the, the skateboard groups. So, yeah, great exercise. And this is why I end up sore and tired, because it's like doing mini box jumps. One box jump. Two box jumps. And I'm not taking long rests. That's the other thing. I do it, I reset, I go again. I do it, I reset, I go again. So I'm jumping quite a lot. I may not land it, but I'm still jumping. Good exercise. Ooh, Ooh almost you landed it right there. trying to get the spin.
Solid, Holly. That last one. Starting to feel it in certain muscles, namely the glute medius and the adductor in my right leg. Ooh. Just a little tweak, like the other day, I was fine doing ollies, which is pretty much more straight. We're twisting a little bit more. So, that seems pretty cool. 
So here, I'm coming down, and I'm trying to twist out to kick that angle out. So I'm getting a little torque here, and a little torque in there on the adductor. And it's starting to wear, because those muscles are a little weak on most people, but on me as well. So I'm actually starting to feel sore there. I'll be really sore later on. This is that slight change in body position when you're doing the kickflip. Because to get my leg out that way, I've got to twist a little. So this is where all these different muscles come in. And it's just like, wow. When I was a kid, I didn't realize I used all these little fine-tuned muscles and all the supportive muscles. Because as you're a kid, you skate. Yeah! You feel tired, you gotta get something to eat. <laughs> you gotta get some sleep. to be feet on top, not on the muscle memory in me. So, yeah, so I do different things in between trying to just to break it up. Because doing the same movement over and over again starts to get tired. So I do the Bruce Lee noise as well. Just out of habit, like you go, wow, every time I keep it. Oh. switch for a second. Just to change the muscle usage. Oh, I'm so proud of that. Oh my god. I would have never thought in a million years about that. When I was a kid, you gotta remember. Hey, story time. So back in the day. So here's a little story time from the old school days. Back in the day, we didn't have noses like these. Not many boards did. Tony Hawk's board did, and a few others, um, but a lot of them, they were just past the truck, so a nolly was not a thing until these sort of came in, and basically all they did when they first came in was the nose was the same as the kicktail, that's what they did, but all the old school boards that we had, 
they had concave and special noses and that for grabbing or putting your feet on a ramp or when you're skating but they weren't really good noses for actually nollying and it wasn't a big thing back then so that's where I'm really wrapped because I never had one of these normal skate well these very standard skateboards now so I never got to do much nollying I, it was more like just nose, nose pickers on the curbs or ledges but yeah so that's why nollie was a big deal for me in the last video all right back to it if you like if you like these uh, old time stories <laughs> stories from back in the day of what it was like back then leave it in the comments but like this like the video subscribe all that good stuff. let's keep going on. Leave it in the comments. Oh, that was good spin. If I can do that, get my feet up on top of it, I got a chance. Kill me. Uh. Hey. Uh. No work. 
cooking like it should. back to what we said before if you're wondering why I get out of breath and why I'm sweaty and all that it's not that I'm out of shape it's that I have been jumping for an hour now <laughs> so grab your skateboard and jump on it for an hour and tell me if you're not getting sweaty and puffed out so I know a lot of a lot of those negative comments that are coming from people who haven't skateboarded and don't understand it. But this is where it's a great PSA to say skateboarding is really great for exercise. And you use a lot of muscles that you don't normally use. And blah 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 blah. Get your skateboard, go out and have some fun. Get healthy at the same time.
I'm not getting the platoon. Saluting me. I'm doing what they say to do. Pop up. Go out on an angle. I'm using my toe. I'm using the ball of my foot. I don't get what is happening. Oh, shit. the old school way that's bad that it can never lean. Need to shin guns. say and I slide up on an angle my foot is scooping it so I'm getting the pop but then my foot is scooping it and catching it and throwing it off too much and as it comes around and I'm trying to bring my foot back it hits it and completes the burn. <laughs> <laughs> that's not possible, that's a possibility. Oh, oh I'm too tired for that now. Tune to a channel near you. <laughs> the pop shove it. Yeah, should have done that first. Oh, 
That's not working, bro. Aaron Cairo. Oh, I'm getting there. And you see, it's all on the one side, so I'm going where all the tutorial videos show me to. Come up and go across. I'm doing it so it hits the nose, so it goes off just before the nose. And, oh, nothing good. And I think I uh, just ran out of energy. Getting tired. I don't know if I've got any more for the kickflip. Kitties, when you get tired and fatigued, you get sloppy. I was actually doing alright and I got overconfident. And yeah, I've been jumping up and down for over an hour and a half. So, hey, the road to kickflip. That's what this series is going to be called. Gonna make it as a vlog, I think. Just the road to kick for things. I might just make it as raw as I can, take out the bad stuff or time wasting where I've had to stop for drinks and things like that. But yeah, I don't know who'll want to watch it, but every chance I get, I'll come out and I'll do a little bit more for the kickflip. And we'll see how long it actually takes me to get it down. Oh, man. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Pretty smashed up my leg. My legs are tired. They're sore. Oh, I'm glad I was wearing these. Cause I actually came down a bit hard. I was just so tired and shoot bang. Oh. Yeah, they did their job. Oh man. So no more switch, no more nollies for today. But I'm proud of myself. I was actually getting some speed and doing it and I was more comfortable. 
So I was getting there. And there we go. Yeah, so as I said, I'll make this a series and just throw it up on the channel. I don't know who'll want to watch me failing all the time. And like, there's definitely no rosy thing out of this one. But no big finale. So, yeah. I'll put it up and just see how it goes. And just document it. What the hell? I had fun today. That's the important thing. I'm tired. I've got some exercise. I've fallen over. <laughs> and yeah, hey, I was skating and I improved. You saw me doing ollies at a quicker pace. I did, a, I think if I remember right, I actually landed the, the fakie ollie, ollie fakie. <sighs> landed more switches. That was cool. And I was actually getting some speed for the nolly. Ah, oh, so I am going in the right direction. Yeah, but I'm exhausted now. Because there's other things that I'm sure that ain't, that's not made it into this video. Because I just let the camera run and I'm doing all this other stuff. And yeah, so I've been going for well over an hour and a half, non-stop. I stopped to. Uh, reset the camera if I need to and um, to get a drink yeah so I've just been go 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 no stopping just talking to you and skateboarding here that's what it's about and I am wrapped <laughs> so give me a thumbnail <laughs> failure <laughs> yeah so Road to kickflip. First video. No. <laughs> yeah, just getting some thumbnails, I guess. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I'm going to be posting other stuff than just me failing. So, if you're interested in the sort of stuff I'm doing, smash like, hit subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. Yes, and you can follow me too. And I hope you're saying the same thing I'm saying. I'm not dead yet.